Hey everybody, just Mr. Karam again. I wanted to just keep going with these review lessons uh, via YouTube, and I, I will send these out in Remind Text so that you can that way you can keep getting them and you can refer back to them and and just kind of re review and, and be prepared for the final exam. So if I I will be able to answer some emailing, um, although I don't really have a whole lot of access. So I ask first if uh, if you have any questions about this sort of stuff. Talk to Carla, number one. Uh, also, there are um, there are great musicians in every single class who are who get this stuff and who have a just a different way of putting it. There's a million ways for me to teach this stuff, but this is these these are the methods that I know reach the most amount of people. But if you need maybe a different approach, talk to them. Or uh, when I come back, I'll be able to help as well. So the goal is to be back this coming Thursday. Um, and then we, we will do some practice finals, uh, practice practice final exams, um, take home kind of stuff, and then we'll, we'll get into finals week. So here we go. Um, this is the sharp key signature, um, the sharp key signature worksheet or, or lesson, review lesson, I guess. So we will start here with our sharp key signatures. And I accidentally put this first one in, but whatever. So we will all start with the treble clef, no bass clef for this exam. The no sharps, no flats is C major. That's the only one I, where I really ask you to memorize. The rest of them, the rest of them, we we have a process for. Okay, so let's go here. We've got our first example, which is two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Remember the lines. Every good boy deserves fudge. So E, G, B, D, and E, and then face in the space F. A, C, E. That should just be quick review for you. Okay, so now we have F sharp and C sharp. For sharp key signatures, you have to find the last written sharp. The last written sharp is the one furthest to the, the right, just kind of like reading a book, right? You go left to right. So the one furthest to the, to the right, or the last written in this instance, is our C sharp. Okay, this the last written sharp in a sharp key signature is our solfege syllable T. T. Just like any other um, key signature, the objective is to find DO. So we have T. We go up here to DO. Since we're in this space, we go up to this line. So we're in a space to line. If it were on a line, the last written sharp was on a line, we go to a space. Okay. So we've got C sharp, two, and this is every good boy deserves D. Okay, so we are in D major. I wrote that out on accident. Uh, I actually had done this video uh, just a, mi a bit of this video just a minute ago, but uh, uh, had a little malfunction. So anyway, so th this one is D major. That is correct. Okay, let's go over here to this one. Four sharps now. The order of these sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, this one's tricky because it goes above the line. Okay, this is G sharp. See, because there's no, there's no line going through this like little middle space here, so it's it's in a space. These um, these ones here, you can see that a line goes through the middle space. That means it's on a line. Okay, some of us when we draw those out, we got to really be careful and making sure we're putting them exactly where they are. I corrected that on a lot of your. Um, placement tests. So, <clears throat> all right, so F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp is our last written sharp. We know this is solfege syllable T, T again, and we go up, since it's on a line, we go up to the next space, and it is, this is E, face in the space, F, A, C, E. This is E major, four sharps, E major. Now, E major will look the same, just like D major and B flat major and all these majors. They will visibly look the same. So after a while, you'll just start to memorize. So if I said, what is E flat major? And if you have it memorized, you can go, that's three flats. B, B flat, E flat, A flat. And you just have it memorized because you've, you've worked in it so much. Okay. So C major, D major, E major. Let's go to the next one. This one is can get tricky um, for some people. We have one sharp. Since we have one sharp, there's only 
there's a first sharp and there's a last sharp and it's the same one. This is F sharp. Okay, so we know that F sharp is since it's our last written technically, we go up from F sharp up to here, which is in in a in a visible space. So this is still a space up here because the staff can keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, right? With space, line, space, line, space, line. So here we go. So this is F sharp. We go up to this space, which if we know our musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it starts over. So we've got F sharp, G major. So again, solfege syllable T. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Do, G major. I, I, don't, I highly doubt that's G major, but I'm just giving you an example. <clears throat> All right, the last one here, five sharps. This one looks really complicated, but it's really not because if you're using the same process as these first three, going to the second or going to the last sharp and going up one, one note, really one half step, you can do the same exact thing right here. Okay, so our order of sharps are F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, just like over here, right? But now we add A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, boom. So now we know again, this is our last written sharp. We go up one, so F A, we know this is A sharp, every good boy. We know this line is B. So A sharp goes T, so if syllable T goes up to Do, which then is B. Five sharps is B major. It's not a great one for vocalists, but it is it is something that we gotta learn. Okay, so again, here are our key signatures. Expect uh, at least two sharp key signatures on the final exam, maybe three, we'll, uh, we'll see, but uh, this gives you the idea of how the process works for this. So here we, here we are. Go to the last written sharp, go up a half step or up to the very next note. That's your do. Do is the same key signature, same name as your key signature. Okay, so if, if the do is D, then our key is D major. Okay, I don't want you to think overthink this. Okay, some people try to they try to overthink it and it doesn't work out. So, okay, so this is sharp key signatures. I will get flat key signatures out here in a little bit and we'll be good to go. See you.